It's Reggae Media TV. Dancehall music producer Conley of War 21 recently had a bunty killer song he produced sampled by pop artist Santi Gold for her track titled Kicking Down Doors. The song sampled by Santi Gold is titled Season of the Year and was recorded by iconic dancehall producer Bunty Killer. Bunty Killer and Ward 21 reaping success as E Kicking Down Doors has received more than a million views on YouTube and was recently featured in a Nike advertisement for popular clothing line and shoe brand Nike. According to Conley, the rewards have been fruitful, especially since records aren't selling. The producer of the song said, I am delighted because this is dancehall general we are talking about and this means a piece of dancehall has gone into the world. We have paid on the back end of Nike ad through publishing and stuff like that. The revenue streams have changed since CDs were created and so samples and ads benefit producers largely. <laughs> Producer Conley of the Bounty Killer track also give advice to other artists and producers out there. In quotes and quotes he said, make sure your things sound good and you learn from people because music is a worldwide language. Somewhere in the world somebody will like your work even if it doesn't take off in Jamaica instantly. You can't stress yourself over instant success because it will mad you. Some of the longest lasting music are one that take a while to build a momentum While the ones that blow up fast usually die in 3 months You hear that now? A real thing the man attack Sometimes we need, we as local musicians We need to have more patience Because when you put in the work and take time The music definitely sound better And when it go out there, people are gonna listen to it as what the man say, if, if it not take off in a Jamaica and it go out there, people are going to listen to it. Because dancehall and reggae is a gift to it. It come like we not even know the gift we have. The local government, we not really see them a push and a support dancehall and reggae. And it is a big gift. We see, we see where we are get a lot of international attention from overseas and dancehall and reggae but one thing as i'm saying in our previous vlog we need to see more artists doing official collaboration instead of international artists sampling our music bounty killer also highlight the good news on his instagram posting the headline story that the jamaica star published about him and producer conley <laughs> Definitely loving the move. Artists and producers out there, y'all see once on a put in the work properly and promote it, it must pay off somewhere out. One main thing you must have to reap success like this is the quality of the music. From you have music quality, from the quality is good, it can go mainstream. Dancehall music is alive, and just some producers and artists now put in the work the real way. Look at this song that released in 2013 and sampled by international pop star Santi Gold. Now, the song feature in Nike ads and Bounty Killer I get revenue from that. This song sound like it released in the 90s. You see it? You get one of them 90s kind of dancehall vibes there when you listen to it. The rhythm, the way all Bounty Killer project in voice and the style of DJ. It just give you one of them 90s kind of style. Eh? The original dancehall. So producers, from you have the right sound and quality, you can't go wrong.
In other news, Dancehall history was made on the 17th of October after one of Dancehall pioneers, Shabba Ranks, was conferred with the order of distinction for his outstanding contribution to music at the National Honors and Awards Ceremony. At the height of his career, Rexton Garden, as he formerly known, earned the nickname Grammy Kid after copying two consecutive Grammy Awards in 1992 and 1993 for his albums As Raw As Ever and Extra Rated, respectively. And are you like me when people say Moon reads nothing? This is a celebration for all the hard-working people them, who is trying to make themselves something. And this is a celebration for all my forefathers who put in the work and, and, and them dead and don't receive it. You see, so me as a man, we get certain type of thing from Jamaica. Jamaica, me loving them, me loving them, you know. That's why I go out the road, and when I go out the road with my music, I make sure that I walk right, and I live upstanding, and I hold up my flag to the best of my ability. You see me, I do so I say thank you to every Jamaican, I thank you to Peter and thing, you see. Now, as I'm saying in the previous story, no matter what you do, as long as you put in the work and it have the quality, you put in the right time, it's gonna pay off in the long run. See it now? Shabba Ranks get order of distinction for contribution to music. Bounty Killer, in the previous story, in feature in Nikads. So, these success reach BS Alpha longevity. The time you put into music and the quality. See, Bounty Killer feature in Nikads with a song that released what over three years ago. And Shabba Ranks now, after all these years, him get honor of distinction for contribution to music. I bet enough people not even did expect this. So it's a good look. Why we not see more successful stories like this? Like artists getting awards like this and getting overseas deals is because our artists and producers enough of them like the quick money a producer we just go in our studio knock up a rhythm vice couple artists and within like three months after him release it him now take time to look into the quality of the music and fix what we fix a lot of time when a rhythm release enough things could add to it but the, the producer them just quick for put it out there and make a money. Maybe if you did add something else to it, maybe in the longer run, you get a deal, an endorsement or something. Because these people who are listening to the music, you have music overseas that take years to release sometimes. Nine months. Because they have put the work to it, they, they want that right sound. A lot of our producers and artists, them don't really care about that. Them just want to release a song and just put it out there and make a money. That's all. To me still, when the music have quality, you reap more in the longer run. Longevity me say. And now, see there, we see the artists and producers who are actually reaping success. Getting the awards and endorsement deals are the type of producers and artists who actually put in the work, put in the time. We know it's time consuming, but in the longer run, you're not going to fail. Trust me. <laughs>